There's gold in them hills and I'm gonna find it It's a sight to see, you can't believe How the color of gold makes you lose control Well there's gold in them hills and I've got the fever And there ain't no other place that I'd rather be Welcome to Gold Fever Adventures. My name is Jack Tucker, and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today. Lately, I've been up on that hill doing a little bit of metal detecting, you know, with my new GPX 6000. I've only found a couple little pieces of gold, and I'm getting tired of walking all over that mountain looking for gold. So I thought I'd go do something else. Uh, I've been asked about this uh, Geo Sluice, this drop riffle sluice. So I thought today what I was going to do is run some dirt through that sluice. I did a video a while back on that, and somebody wanted to see some more information on it. So that's what I was going to do. Uh, well, probably a couple months ago, I was up in Meadview searching out some new mining claims, and I took a couple buckets of dirt, some samples of dirt, and I need to run those. So I figured I would run a bucket of that dirt through that machine, and then do a cleanup and we'll see what kind of gold that we get. And also what I was going to do, I got a bag of this special pay dirt. This is uh, from Miner's Depot. And I ain't doing no advertising for them or nothing like that. But this was a $50 bag of dirt. They don't know I'm going to do that. But I'm going to run this through that too. I'm going to see what kind of gold I get. So hopefully I better get some gold out of this, huh? But that's what I'm going to do. So I'll do both of those through there and... Say then we'll stop do a clean up and all that and see how this machine works if it really captures the gold, you know, because I've never really been a fan of that type of stuff. But hey, you just never know what might work and just it might not work. But anyways, sure want to thank you guys for coming along, sharing on these adventures, and hey, let's just go check out this machine and let's hopefully we can get us some gold. Thanks for coming along. Well, you can see I got this already set up right here. I call this little blue is what I like to call it. Just little blue. Runs on a 12 volt battery. Got it just set up right there. I got a bucket of uh, water there, or what you call it, a dump bucket, I guess. So when that fills up, I can just dump that bucket up. I'm just going to recirculate it out. And I'll show you a couple things that's different about this here, but I love the pretty blue color. They come in blue and green and guess black too but uh i like the pretty blue color it's got a you know, it looks like maybe three eighths maybe grizzly screen there everything i've got has probably been a quarter inch maybe classified so everything almost should go through that there so let's fire this up and let's just run some dirt I know it's a spray bar, it doesn't just spray out like, you know, a normals. It kind of sprays out and it creates this little like vortex like thing. Just picks the material up and puts it down over there. You want to level your sluice out because you want this water coming out evenly. So I've got to pick this side up just a hair. Okay, that's a little more better. A little more better. Okay, now let's just run some material here. Just sprinkle this stuff in there, like so. It just chews right through that. Look at that, it's gone already, and down the sluice it went. And into my tailings bucket. You know, I have to tell you, I've never been a fan of these uh, type of sluice boxes and matting. I'm old school, I believe in that miner's moss. I love my miner's moss, <laughs> but uh, it seems to capture the gold, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to really test this machine today and see what it does. You can see there's gravel in the material. And you see it's all coming to this side over here. So I don't like that. Because what's going to end up happening is the gold will slowly just walk its way all the way over here. So this has to be level. Looks like my water's level here, but it's not level up here. So this has to come up just a little bit more. 
Okay, it looks a little more better. Let's get some more material out here. Dump this in here. Yeah, really nice. Look at that. I can almost feed that as fast as I can feed that. Well, I won't bore you by running all of this dirt one scoop at a time, so I'll hurry and just run this dirt here and then uh, we'll clean it up. And I can tell right now one thing about this machine. If you look in here, you see all of this, this weeds and stuff. You look up here on the spray bar, you see all of this type of stuff here, all these weeds. If this just had holes in it, these would have already been plugged up. But because this is just a cut, this is harder to plug up. That's one thing I've noticed right off the bat. It doesn't get plugged up as easy as their mothers do. Once in a while, I gotta check your tailing bucket. Yeah, it's almost full. Probably finish this dirt off with that. What you do is put your hand right there. You can still feel gravels coming down. It means it's still washing itself out. So I'll give that a minute, let it clean itself out. Just let it run, it ain't gonna hurt anything bucket is pretty well full so you don't have to end up dumping that so that worked out just perfect one bucket in one bucket out i'll show you how easy this is to clean up here and put me a gold pan right there i'm gonna have to pull my bucket back a little bit or obviously I'm just gonna run out there put the riffles of the gold pan in the front make sure that those are coming down on that there okay slightly tilt the pan forward a little bit so it'll run off and disconnect your battery. And let's look at that. All right, for cleanup, this top piece just lifts right off. Set that aside, you don't need it. Now, that easy, and here's your solution. And this thing right here, we'll just pick right up. Just like that, come right off. Just lift that up and slide that out. Oh, I see a lot of black sands. I do see a lot of black sands. Look at that, it's chunky black sands too. I like chunky black sands. Oh, there's a little piece of gold. Chunky black sands, chunky gold. Fine black sands, fine gold. Looks like there's black sands all the way down. What if I could just clean one riffle at a time? Let's see if I can just get one stuff out of a riffle at a time and pan this. That's what I wanna try and do. I'll get these bottom riffles out of here. Don't know if I can do this or not. Bottom last two riffles. I'm not sure if I can just get all this material out of here. Popsicle stick might, might work better. Okay. I'm gonna pan this out, these last two riffles here. If there's any gold in these last two riffles, I wouldn't like it, I wouldn't be happy. Black sands. Uh, don't see no gold. Okay, that's a good sign. That's a good sign, no gold. Okay, put that there back there again. Now let's clean this whole thing up.
I'm just gonna pan in this bucket right here. one bucket that's not bad huh that not bad at all I like it I like it a lot <laughs> let me give you try to give you a little close-up of this gold there pretty nice huh pretty nice gold pretty nice gold and just like that it's ran the whole bucket is ran <laughs> but uh so that was classified down to quarter of an inch, one bucket. That's not bad gold, you know. It's, I'd live with that. If I was there dry washing, just shoveling into it, man, that's pretty good. I'm impressed with that. Huh, the geo sluice, the geo sluice. Just like that, we're ready to run more dirt. Well, that was interesting. Now, let's go ahead and run this uh, pay dirt through this machine. Now I'm just paying this on out here. I like this pan, it's got a drop, drop bottom in it. Riffles. Oh, I see gold. I see gold. Nice little piece in there. Well, what do you guys think of that, huh? That's not bad gold, huh? Not bad at all. Uh, not bad at all. 
Wow, that's pretty good. I like it. Huh, that's nice. Dude, that's nice. Drop riffle sluice. It's got some uh, pretty aggressive drop riffles in it, but that's all it is. It's easy to clean up, that's for sure. There'll be a link on the website. I'll put a link down below if you want more information about these here. But uh, pretty good. Pretty nice. Same company also sells these bucket sluices like this here. You attach this to the bucket. Hook your holes up. It has the pump in there also. You set this in the tub. And it just comes out of here. It just dumps out right there and into the tub. It's got a hole in here someplace. Right there for the water to drain out and into the tub. So, uh... Yeah, again, same company, it's only a bucket sluice. In the pretty blue, I like the pretty blue. Well, that was fairly easy, wasn't it? Got all types of gold on that deal. Got some gold in the bucket from up on the claim. Got some gold in the pay dirt bag. Actually, I was kind of surprised. You know, I don't do a lot of pay dirt bags, uh, but I was surprised on that one, I will admit. I, I, I am surprised. I'm going to have to get more of them. <laughs> that might be easier than going out and digging and working for it. Anyways, uh, it's got me some gold. Sun's getting up in the sky, so it's going to get hot now really quick. So it's about time for me to get back under that air conditioner before it gets too hot. I'm out here. I'm at the campground right here, Gold Fever Adventures Campground. Just hanging out. Anyways, uh, I got a lot of stuff planned down the road as far as videos. I got to do one on people's asking me about blue bowl i got another recirculator i got to do i got a gold well sluice i got some uh metal detectors different metal detectors that fisher f75 and the uh, gold bug pro uh, the gold bug 2 and of course i'll be back out using that gpx 6000 again too so if you're one of my subscribers sure appreciate you guys one of my patreons i sure appreciate you guys helping support the channel anyways so I'm going to go ahead and sure appreciate you guys coming along, sharing on these adventures. And, hey, we got some gold. I got gold. Well, yeah, but you got to see me get gold, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, hey, guys, thanks for coming along. And you guys all take care of yourself. So until our paths cross again, thanks for watching, everyone. There's gold in them hills and I'm gonna find it It's a sight to see